Hi guys and welcome to episode 12 of the Mighty Man United. To start this episode, as you can see in the background, there is the draw for the third round of the FA Cup. We have been drawn at home to MK Dons. So hopefully a nice easy victory. Um, in this episode, we will be seeing a home game against AS Monaco in the Champions League, followed by an away game against Stoke City. So without further ado, let's get into the first game and hopefully we can get off to a win. Okay guys, this is going to be the starting lineup for the game against Monaco. We'll be starting with the Heron goal. Damian Smalling, Rojo and Shaw consist of the back four. Schneiderlin and Herrera in midfield. Yanazai, Mata and Depay behind Anthony Martial. On the bench we have Romero, Dragovic, Rooney, Lima, Ashley Young, Jesse Lingard and Daly Blind. So let's get this game underway. Hopefully we can get off to a nice winning start. If we win this game we'll be through to the knockout stages of the Champions League. So hopefully, let's get a nice win. Damian with a throw in. Three minutes into the game. Yanazai back out to Damian. Damian puts the cross in. Luke Shaw at the back post. Schneiderlin wins the header. It's Ander Herrera. Back out to Damian. Damian takes on Cohen Trow, but Cohen Trow recovers well. Only as far as Herrera. Herrera to Depay. Memphis Depay. 1-0. Fantastic start to this season, to this episode. Herrera across to Memphis Depay. Depay has a shot and he just does not miss them. 1-0. Janazai with a free kick into Schneiderlin. It's out for a corner. Corner to be taken by Adnan Janazai into the box. Cleared away. Out for a throw in. Janazai with a corner into the box. Headed away. Picked up by Memphis Depay. To back out wide to Janazai. And as I edge of the box for Ander Herrera to Schneiderlin. Schneiderlin buries it 2 0. Surely that goes through to the first knockout round of the Champions League. Yanazai across to Herrera. Herrera to Schneiderlin. And Schneiderlin buries it. That's two very, very good goals. This is much more like it, boys. Okay, there's, that's half time. 2 0 lead. Extremely convincing performance so far. We've absolutely battered Monaco. So let's get into the second half. Hopefully see more of the same and score a few more goals. It's Mata with a free kick. Into the box. Very poor free kick. Picked up by Subasic. Damian wins the header. Only as far as Fabinho. Schneiderlin wins it the second time. Ricardo Carvalho loses the ball. It's picked up by Smalling. Back to Damian. To Schneiderlin. Out wide to Yanazai. Inside to Mata. Mata gets fouled. Jao Moutinho is going to get sent off here. Second yellow card. Jao Moutinho has been sent off. It's Contral with the throw in. It's won by Damian. Damian gives it to Schneiderlin who kicks it straight into the back of his own player. Only to Damian though. Back to De Gea. De Gea plays the ball forward. Headed away by Fabinho, picked up by Carrillo to Quincy Proms. Quincy Proms plays the ball through. Marcus Rojo with a very good interception. Back to De Gea. De Gea taking his time. Plays the ball out to Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw gives it to Depay. Depay plays the ball to Yanazai. Yanazai looks for Damian on the overlap. Damian gets the ball in. Memphis hits the crossbar. You could argue that should be 3-0. It's Mata with a free kick. Hopefully better than the last one. Nope. Exactly the same. Very poor free kick from one Mata twice in a row. Subasic plays pretty much the exact kick from when he caught it last time. But Proms is in this time. And it's a very good goal from Quincy Proms. Just giving Monaco a lifeline in this game. Of course, even if they lose this game, they are pretty much guaranteed to qualify from the, from the group stages. And at the moment, it's Juventus that are going through to the Europa League. Very good finish from Quincy Proms. Not a lot you can do about that. Okay, so I'm going to make the first change of this game. Um, I'm going to bring on Wayne Rooney for Martial. Martial hasn't had the best of games. Um, he's the only player on the pitch with uh, an average rating below 6.9, which is obviously just just slightly above the average default rating. Um, so we'll just stick to that one change for now, and hopefully we can see this game out. 
Okay, not very much has happened since we made that first change. Very, very quiet second half so far. I'm going to bring on Ashley Young for one matter, and I'm going to put Yanazai into the middle. It's Jemison back out to Toure. To Bernardo Silva. Quincy Proms. Pasolic. Yanazai wins the ball. Herrera back to Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw out to Memphis Depay. Depay gets tackled, but it's on as far as Herrera. Gives the ball away. That's very poor. Bernardo Silva puts the ball over the top. Quincy Proms is, on, is in here for his second goal. Quincy Proms secures his brace and has possibly just got a point for Monaco. Group stages has now changed slightly. We still go through despite not winning this game, if this as it stands. And Juventus will finish bottom of the group. Very good goal again from Quincy Proms. So I'm going to make the final change of the game. I'm going to take off Yanazai and I'm going to bring on Lucas Lima in an attacking midfield role. I'll change him to an advanced playmaker. A point from this game isn't a bad result. We should still qualify for the first knockout round. It's Carvalho with the free kick. Gives it to Fabinho. Back to Jemison. Toure. Back to Jemison. Jemison goes all the way back to Subasic. Plays the ball long. Schneiderlin wins the header out to Ashley Young. Ashley Young comes inside for Ander Herrera. Herrera goes outside to Memphis. Memphis tries to come back inside but gives it away. Luckily wins it back. Lucas Lima out to Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw to Schneiderlin. 3-2. We regain the lead thanks to another good goal from Morgan Schneiderlin. Schneiderlin has scored some very good goals this season. I think that's his third goal from distance. Some lovely football again. Luke Shaw plays a nice pass over to Schneiderlin. Who, with his, with his weaker foot as well, finishes very nicely. So it's Bernardo with a free kick for Monaco. It's cut out by the Man United defence. Rooney picks the ball up. Rooney puts it through. It's cut out by Jemison. He's going to give it back to Subasic. Subasic will play the ball over the top. The header will be won by Marcus Rojo. And then by Fabinho. Pasalic gives it to Bernardo. He tries to get through to Proms, but Marcus Rojo is there again. Matteo Damian plays the ball forward. Schneiderlin to Young. Ashley Young on the ball. Plays a lovely pass to Wayne Rooney, who should have done better with it, really. It's Luke Shaw with the throw-in. Gives it to Memphis to pie. Plays the ball over the top, but it's cut out by the Monaco defender. Schneiderlin almost gets caught on the ball, but luckily wins it back. Ashley Young. Out to Damian. Damian takes it past the defender, gets a ball into the box, it's cleared by Jemison. Only to Schneiderlin, Damian again. Damian gets a ball back to Schneiderlin, gives it to Young. Young gets tackled and the ball is picked up by Subasic. Once Subasic kicks this away, the final whistle shouldn't be far away. Picked up by Damian. And there we go. 3-2 win. 2 Pretty, pretty unfortunate goals. Caught on the counter, but I'm happy with that victory. We finished top of the group. We qualified for the first knockout round of the Champions League, so I'm happy with that. Okay, guys, so this is the team lineup for the game against Stoke City. I've gone for De Gea in goal, Damian Smalling, Rojo and Luke Shaw as the back four. Schneidlin and Herrera in midfield. Yanazai, Mata and Depay behind Wayne Rooney. So let's get into this game, see if we can get a win. Uh, we could do with a win from this, really, to try and get us up the table a little bit. We're, we're still struggling in the league. Um, however, we've had a couple of good victories. We're on a little bit of a run now, so hopefully we can get into this, score a few goals and get a nice win. Okay, so first highlight of the game. Smalling with a free kick to Marcus Rojo. Schneiderlin to Juan Mata. It's Mata almost giving the ball away, but Schneiderlin wins it back. It's Juan Mata again into Wayne Rooney. Rooney goes out wide to Luke Shaw. Shaw comes in, it's Memphis Depay. Memphis Depay, it's a good save from Jack Butland, and it's a corner. Corner will be taken by one matter. Puts it into the box. Header is won by Smalling, but it looks like it took a deflection, it's another corner. It's one matter again. Into the box. Headed away by Ryan Shawcross. 
Stephen Ireland picks the ball up. Tries to play it long, but Damian has that covered. Damian also plays it long. It's Glenn Johnson with the throw in. Gives it to Zerdan Shakiri. Charlie Adam to Mami Biran Juf, formerly of Man United. Gives it away to Damian. Smalling to Marcus Rojo. And to Herrera. Through to Rooney. Rooney gives the ball away. It's very poor from Rooney. It's over the top and Biram Juf's in here. It's Mummy Biram Juf puts it wide. Okay, that's that's half time. Currently nil nil. Not much has really happened in the first half, so I'll tell them I'm not pleased with the performance and hopefully we can get out hit the ground running and uh, get an early goal in the second half. So it's a corner kick for Charlie Adam to whip in. Adam puts it in, Ryan Shawkos wins the header and Philip Volscheit is there to put the ball into the back of the net. Stoke City take the lead. A corner from Adam. Shawcross was always winning that header and then Walshite was just in the right place at the right time to put the ball into the back of the net. It's Damian in the attacking half. Ireland clears it away. It's going to be picked up here by Juf. Juf comes inside. Juf has a chance here and he puts it wide. I'm going to make a change. I'm going to bring on Martial. And I'm also going to bring on Ashley. I'm going to bring. I'm going to put Matter out wide. I'm going to put Charlan Ogloo in a more advanced position. So throw in for Glenn Johnson to Shakiri. Shakiri inside to Charlie Adam. Adam puts the ball over the top. Biram Juice in again here. Is he going to put it across? No, he gives the loses the ball to Rojo. Gives it to Johnson. Island to Adam. Adam inside to Bojan gives the ball away. Schneiderlin who kicks it into his own player. We win it back though, it's Chalanoglu to Schneiderlin. Schneiderlin gives the ball away again to Afalai, but Damian picks it up. Damian to Chalanoglu. Back to Mata. Into Ander Herrera. Out wide to Memphis Depay. Memphis Depay puts it into the box, and Morgan Schneiderlin gets us an equaliser. That was a lovely attacking move there. Good ball in from Memphis to Pie. And Schneiderlin again. He's bagging himself a few goals at the moment. It's Glenn Johnson with the throw in for Stoke. To Stephen Island. Back to Johnson. Whips the ball in, but Rojo wins the header. It's out to Charlie Adam, but Charlie Ogley wins the tackle, and under Herrera can set Martial out here. Martial gives it to Charlie Ogley. Charlie Ogley puts it through to Memphis to Pie. It's a good save from Jack Butland. Jack Butland clears the ball forward. It's Glenn Whelan to Charlie Adam. Shakiri puts the ball over the top. Hosselu's in here. It's Hosselu. It's saved by De Gea. Smalling out to Memphis. Memphis clears the ball forward for Martial to chase. So I'm going to make the last change of the game here. I'm going to bring off Ander Herrera and bring on Bastian Schweinsteiger. It's five minutes to go. And hopefully we can get a winner. Charlie Ogley with a free kick out to Schweinsteiger. Puts it into the box. Memphis wins the header, but it's saved by Butland. Butland pumps the ball forward. The header's won by Rojo. Johnson wins the header, but it's only as far as Schneiderlin. Is it time for one more attack? Memphis gives it to Chowanoglu. Back out wide to Memphis, who wins the header, but it's going nowhere. And I think that'll be that. Yeah. It's a one-all draw with Stoke City. It's not. A, that's not a bad result. I'll take that. Uh, so that's where we'll bring this episode to a close. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy it, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And until next time.